Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our single player let's play here in Minecraft 1.15 where we have a bee army right behind us doing really really good. We built this cool little beekeeper, a beehive house, whatever you want to call it. This is a beekeeper's house? Yeah, this beekeeper's house right behind me with this cool a little uh, bee farm. What, what's it called? An apiary? Not an aviary, aviaries, birds, apiary, bees. I'm getting the hang of this. Let me flip, let me show you what's been going on. So uh, yeah, most of these are filled up with honey. Look at all of that, looking very cool. I think some of these still need more bees, I think. I think this one and this one, um, we, we don't have that many bees. I think we still need to do a little bit more uh, population uh, control over here. Uh, well, not control, like, let's not control this. Let's let, let, let the bees go crazy. Okay, have a bunch of different flower types. Here we go. Have all the babies, please. Oh, I need a whole army. Oh, I need even planted one. There you go. Oh, look at that bee army. Let's go. Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Shut your mouth, sauce. Uh, but look at this. Oh, more bees. There we go. Looking awesome. So we're going to keep expanding this area. And you know what? I haven't even uh, done yet. I haven't made two uh, a very important uh, bee blocks, okay? So one thing, I'm going to grab a little bit of honey right here. And eventually, yes, we're going to automate all this. We're going to uh, make a big old greenhouse um, that we can do some automation. It's going to be so amazing. So awesome. I can't wait. Uh, but you know what? Baby steps. Let's start small. Let's start with a very simple little ape. Uh, Apiary right here, a little bee hangout, and let's do it manually, and eventually we'll graduate to uh, to the most automated uh, warehouse of bees you've ever seen. Now we're gonna put it right over here. Uh, but for right now, let's come inside here real fast. Uh, and did I do any kind of modifications here? I don't think I did. The only thing that I added was a crafting bench right here. But uh, watch this. Let's do this first. So the first thing I want to do uh, is make a honey a block. Oh, and if we make a couple which we can only make a couple because that's fine. Uh, we can get a little advancement over here. Let's see if I can do it. Let's put it, if we stack it up right here. Oh, look at that, squish, squish. Listen, listen, shh, 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 listen. Squish. <laughs> listen to me. Okay, shush, listen. That sounds amazing. Squish, squish, okay, cool. Now, let's see if this works. Can this work? Oh, do I have to be in a higher? I think I need to make another one. If we just, okay, yeah, I think I need to make them a little higher. If it. The sticky situation is so cool. You can like literally do a parkour map and do some wall running or something like if we're playing Titanfall or something. Uh, uh, Recipes Titanfall never uh, gonna see a part three because of Apex Legends. That's fine. It's cool. But look at that. Squish, squish. So cool. And then you know what we could do? Uh, kind of what we did here for this little pallet. Uh, I could do a little, let's put something over here on this side. Uh, I can't do nothing too big because we only got two, but later on we'll do more. So something like this and then we can surround this. Do I have trapdoors? Yes, I do. Surround this in a little bit of a trap door right here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? A little bit of honey right there, just waiting for people to come by and go, you know, slurp it all up. Yum, 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 hi, bee. That's my friend right there. I need to name all of them. Uh, but name all my bees in the comment section. No, uh, but that is super cool. And also, this works well for uh, a bunch of things we're going to be doing later on. Once we do a tavern or, or some kind of pub or something, right? Uh, this could be uh, like the, um, the the beer, the the mead, the mug of ale or something, right? Uh, well, not a big. That's a mug for like a giant. I mean, like you put like a. Can I? Can, let me see if I can give you a little bit of an example. I don't have any barrels. If I had a barrel, I put a barrel like right here in front, uh, and then we put like a little tripwire right hook in front, and this could be like the runoff or whatever. Extra extra bit of a liquid uh, yumminess comes out. You, you know what I'm talking about. But also, look at this, come with me. We can do one more block that we haven't done yet and I gotta use this on a build one day. Give me that honeycomb. So, if we get the honeycomb block, and right there, look at that. Let's make a couple of those. Look how beautiful this block is. Um, I can think of a couple ways to use it. Oh, look at that, squish squish too, listen. Squish squish also, uh, but <laughs> I can uh, see a couple ways to do this thing. Uh, and it, you know what? One of my friends, Gemini Tay, made an awesome video recently of 115 builds, and she uses as a gradient. So this, then with like yellow concrete, yellow terracotta, uh, even the um, the the pumpkin block uh, as a gradient going up on a roof. Ooh, that was so nice. This would look good, almost like a like a lampshade also for a, for a lamp or something. If we had end rods, we put like a little end rod on the bottom, this on the top, and that looked pretty nice. Also a trim maybe for like the bottom of like a wall. Like if we had, like say if we're out here and uh, we have like a little bit of a trim, I have all these covered up with stuff, but like down here, like with a little bit of a trim on the bottom, maybe for like interior we can use it too. Uh, we'll figure something out, but cool. We have the block finally. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're gonna definitely use it in a, in a later stage. I don't know where to put it. Let's put it up here for now. Uh, I can put the honey block maybe on, well, this is where I'm putting my honey bottles. So I might as well put a little honey block on this side. No, that's not where I had this. This is where the honeycombs go. I think the bottles go over here. The shears go there, the bottles here. There we go. Put those bottles here and then we put the 
the honey on this side, and then, uh, oh no, let me close up there. I'm fine, I'm organizing, all right? We're gonna get a big old storage room coming up soon, so if you guys are down for a store, wait. Am I missing one? Oh no, I made it into the thing thing, into the little, um, the honey uh, pot over there. But if you guys are down for a storage room, let me know in the comment section. I'm ready. I don't know if we, we need it yet, because I think what we have inside our little starter house is good enough for now. But I think eventually we're going to need a big old storage room. And you know what? I'm the master. That's right. The master of the storage room. You heard that, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be amazing. But today, the, you know what? I'm having a problem. See my inventory? It has no food. Mm -hmm. I got absolutely no food left. I can make some bread, which I'm going to have to because I don't want to die right now out of hunger. So let's make some bread. But also, uh, I need to get some meat. Bubbles has been literally telling me. Uh, oh, hi, Daisy. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to say, say hi to Bubbles. Was like, you're the best. I'm going to feed Daisy some apples or something. But Bubbles is like, sausage! Give me some steak. Look, she's not even looking at me. She's not even looking at me. She's upset. She's... It looks vicious, vicious <laughs> like a vicious dog. He's a vicious dog. Don't look at me like that. She is literally shaken. Okay, she needs meat, right? And you need it now. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do some stuff today. We're gonna be building an animal pen. We're gonna get some cows. We're gonna get some sheep. We're gonna get some stuff, and we're gonna get meat for bubbles, so she doesn't tear a hole into my face. So uh, really quick, let me make it daytime, and I'm gonna show you where we have this planned out. But really quick, before I sleep, I want a better bed than this. This white default ugly old bed. Let's make a little bit of a blue bed or something. Can I do it like this? Yes, I can. Isn't that lovely? Let's go. Boop. Oh, look at that blue bed. Very nice. And I'm glad I changed it. We needed to change the sheets because this bee literally keeps coming in here. Keeps dropping a bunch of pollen on here and I have to clean this up every single time. Oh, come with me. Check this out. I decided to do a little bit more expansion with our farm. So we got now... Uh, oh, look at the pretty. This thing grew up. I put a little scarecrow there. But check this out. We got one more little spot here. And I love this one. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Made it all in uh, complete diagonals. Uh, and we could put either carrots or potatoes or... You know what? How about pumpkins? We could do some pumpkins. I think it's some pumpkins over here at the village. I checked at that village just to be sure we didn't lose anything um, and miss out on anything. There's no other crops there. It's just seeds for stuff uh, for uh, for <laughs> just some more wheat. But I also did this one. Look how cool. Uh, this part's growing into eventually it's all would be grass, but it's looking really awesome. So we got these things in like little sections, so like two by twos. Uh, and here we can do either carrots, potatoes, whatever we find. Maybe beetroot, maybe not. I don't want to do no beetroot. For anything but beetroot. But we got extra pods. A pod there and a pod here. Here. I think we can do one more here as well uh, and pretty much get every single crop family out here in the world But really quick. Let me come up here real fast. Oh, yeah, there we go Boom that should be good enough for now and we can use this as a little pumpkin patch uh, There's some chickens here. I think there's some cows and sheep so we can get those guys and oh we got it We're gonna make a big old animal pen. Actually, I don't want to do a huge animal pen I want to do something small. I want to upgrade to a big one later So you'll see I got an idea, but hold on. I think this is the best way to do it. Let's come this way uh, I don't want to random. Should I random? I'm gonna randomize. Randomly scatter it around here because we don't have enough to fill it all out. Eventually, we'll cover this whole thing. Maybe we can look for some melons too and bring those over in this section. Do a pumpkin slash melon farm. I don't know. That'll be kind of cool. But check that out. Do you like this like, little diagonal thing? I like it. Uh, so I think that should be good. All right, cool. And we'll let that grow up and it's looking nice. But come with me. I'm thinking. Over here, we got a spot. Oh, and I changed these to uh, to oak. A couple people made that suggestion. It kind of blends in better with the path block. And I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, so I changed those up. But come with me right over here. I got this spot. Look at this right here. This beautiful open space. Uh, and I think we can go ahead and set something up really, really nice right here. But I'm not sure what style or what, I mean, what build to do or how to do it. I'm thinking about going new school. I made a recent build a tutorial it was an animal pen i used it for rabbits specifically so it's almost like a little rabbit hutch but it was such a nice shape to it uh and i think i might go with that one uh maybe just at a little bit of a larger scale i want to make it more open though i want the animals just to freely roam around uh, but have like a little section that we can store stuff inside okay so hmm let me think about it. Let, let me see if we can come up with a layout and we'll build this thing right now together. All right, this is what I got. I think this came out pretty cool. It's a cool little outline. So this is what I'm thinking. This is gonna be for cows on one side, sheep on the other. Later on, I'll do like a little bit of a chicken coop maybe somewhere back here, or a little pig pen later on this side. Uh, but for now, I think this is gonna be uh, the best and it's gonna work out. And eventually, yes, we're gonna do some kind of automation or something with the, with the sheep to get all the wool and stuff. But for now, this is very starter worthy stuff and it's gonna fit in with the theme what we got going over here. Look at this place. I don't think I've been up here, up, up here this side. Check this out. 
Oh, so nice. Okay, now, <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. So, the main uh, structure is from this block you see right here, this log you see here, going this way. So it's like a little bit of a pod right there. And then this kind of cuts and goes this way and then repeats going like this in this angle. So let's say this side is cows, this side is sheep. Then it kind of, this is the structure right here. But then these little things you see on the outside, it's like a little fencing area. So they can kind of like be out here and grazing and have fun and all that. And then they can walk inside and this will be the inside part right here. I think I'm going to get rid of that log or keep it for support i'm not sure like yeah i don't have it on this side so i think i'm gonna get rid of that log but then this is kind of blocked in and fenced in on this side but when you come in you can walk on in it's gonna be a nice little arch here uh, entrance here and then in the back here we can have all the the supplies and stuff over here in the back i'm not sure maybe i can do a little extension back here to add a little bit more of a storage area i think i might add to that but for right now i think it's looking pretty good all right so step number one we're gonna come up here and just lift these blocks up this is gonna be the highest point so right here this is a one so there's a two three four five six i think seven here i want to make this a nice arch right on this side uh, and the roof i want it to slope down and kind of just go deep down in a hard slope going straight down maybe in stairs and slabs and stuff like that going straight down and then over here i want to make this very like curved barn like uh roofs here same on the top here and the same on this side right here so i think this might be good let's let's see it again one two three four five six did i go six or seven i think one seven i think that might be good right there uh and then Right here, I want to make this out of stripped and regular planks like this. For now, we just got all, all that, but whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, and you know what we could bring in? I don't have a lot, but I'll, maybe a little bit of the, the beehive block. That'd be pretty cool. You know, turn sideways so that, mm. yeah, I think it might be, we'll, we'll see. We'll come back to that. Uh, but for right now, a little bit of a mix. Uh, I might make a tiniest little window right here. Uh, something very simple though. So let's go ahead and take this up to there. And then, let's see, this is gonna kinda curve up. So I'm gonna have to go up like so. Uh, and this kinda go like this. I gotta figure it out when we do the roof. I probably should do the roof first. Just so we can get a good little outline here first uh, on how I want it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Hold on, give me a sec, let me get up to the top and let's figure out how to curve this roof. All right, there you go. I think that came out pretty cool. So we got that little curved barn-like look on the top and then with stair, well, kind of slabs right here. So one, two, three, four, five, these slabs right here in the center. And then it goes from all the way down to stair. And then the last couple is just a little slab step down right here in the corner and another little slab step down there in that corner. And I think it looks pretty cool. And then we got this little arched, uh, little barn-like door. I think I'm just gonna go with our traditional little, let's make uh, some curvature right here. And then maybe we could hang a little light uh, right here from the center and just come back this direction like so I think that would look pretty cool. Maybe even curve the bottom Like that. I think that's pretty cool for now. And then up here. This is what I'm thinking uh, We could do so let's lift this up right here in the center We can go with like almost like a little Tudor style kind of thing So we could go right here on this side with a beam another beam right here on this side and then we can come here through the middle just with this lovely uh, little blockage right here. And then we can strip these and it should look uh, pretty cool. Let's see, let's set that one more. Uh, and then I can just drop down and we can strip these. So let's see what this looks like right here. And if you want a tutorial on this, I literally have one. It's very, very similar. I'm gonna make this one just a little bit bigger, but it's very similar uh, right now on the channel. Oh, look at that, that looks cool. That looks awesome. Then, uh, I think I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so we can come here with some, uh, let me make some, stairs here uh, with uh, the oaks so like so this and let's see what this looks like if we just cover this bottom one right or oh, the top one right there yeah that looks a lot better and I'm gonna leave that as a full block and then we can put maybe some fences in there or something like that and then a little lantern do we have a lantern I think I have a lantern right over here then we can drop a little lantern right in the middle boom oh yes and then I'm thinking we could also do a little bit of an overhang here so what if we bring this back in like that right I think that looks cool. Uh, and then we can go with maybe some slabs on these right there. And then maybe on these, we could bring in the trap door back like this. Like, see, can I, can I put that right here with the thing? Oh no, um, close enough. Uh, then we can go like that. And I think we can go with a little bit of an overhang here. What if we bring campfire blocks here too? We could probably do that. Uh, but maybe, Let's just take these out one more. I like that little curve up right there. That's cool. Something like that. And then maybe on the back, we can throw in some slabs just to round off this corner bit. 
Let's see, let's bring some slabs in here. So what if we go bum 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 and then bum 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 like so can i put you there there you go uh yeah let me get rid of this thing right here uh i think right there would look cool i think so let's drop down oh yeah oh that's nice maybe just to add a little bit more curve to this uh right here in the corner bits maybe here maybe in the middle and then maybe over here on this side just put some stairs facing inwards like that just to add a little bit more detail uh and let's take a quick look and see yeah, that's a winner. I love that. That looks very, very cool. Okay, so I'm keeping this for sure. Now, next thing we're going to do, let's lift up these blocks. So this corner bit just goes up by three. So we can just pretty much just go up by three on all of these. So let's go back down this way. So up by three here, up by three, up by three. And then we can pretty much just repeat exactly what we did here. We're going to do it on the back part over here. So let me do this real fast. It's going to repeat that over here. Oh, baby, our first wandering trader of the season. Where have you been, man? I've been here this whole time waiting for you. You just show up out of nowhere, uninvited, not even looking at me in the face. You know what? This is not how you make sales. Th these guys should be your salesmen. You're just looking out that way. What do you got? Um, uh, Actually, the, the, the coral block. I would get that. I, that, ooh, I actually do need some sugar cane, but guess what? I have absolutely no emeralds for you. Thank you, though, for passing by. I will, uh, um, you can see yourself out. Uh, okay, so we did this. Just snort. I heard that's nasty. Uh, so we got this part done. Now, for this part, yes, I definitely think we need to do something to break this up. Especially since I'm, I, I don't want to wait out through the back. And I think, oh, I forgot to take this little piece out. And I think we should set something up. You know what? Actually... Hmm. I think I want to do something here. I think I did this on the other one in the little tutorial I did. Hold on. Let me get rid of these real fast. And then put some stairs right in here. One, two, three. Take this one. In. Hold on. Take that one in there. Oh, come up with a little smaller window. Take that up. And then we got a little thing like that. A little trim on the bottom would look really, really nice. I like that. I like that. Let me go ahead and do that over here as well. So, uh, oh, and we're going to do the little uh, pop out section over here in a second right now and see what this looks like. But hold on a minute. Inspiration is coming right there. Cool. I like that. So we get a little bit of detail on the bottom and that looks really, really cool. Boom. All right. Now, uh, we're definitely going to do something here. So don't worry about that. We'll get to that in a second. But let's do this part. I need to build. You need to leave. Thank you and good day to you. Good day. Um, okay. Uh, so let's lift this up. So since that goes around, I'm gonna put I'm gonna end up putting oak in the center bits, but let's lift this up. So it's gonna be a little bit of a pop up. I will slap you. Don't you even test me. Don't you even test me, please. Thank you. Um, so then over here we can go one, two, three. Uh, I think four total. Hmm. We could do something special here. Maybe not this. Hold on. Let's take this little piece off over here. Uh, he, he knew he was going to get slapped, too. That's why he's leaving. So, one, two, three, four. <laughs> so, right here. And this goes around. Please. Oh, if he comes back here, I swear. If he comes back in here, he's going to get the slapping of his life. You watch. Um, so, that's connected to that piece of the building. So, that's good. And then this is going to come this way. Uh, and I'm thinking we can go ahead and strip these bad boys over here. So, stripped. Get stripped. Get stripped. Um, we could do the stair trick over here as well. So let's bring that over here. So upside down stairs here. We could do the upside down stairs over here. This one, we're going to do a little archway entrance to get in. And then, hmm, let's see. What can we do here? We could change this one up. We could put a big window, though, actually. That might not even be too bad. We'll put a big window over here. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we could do something like that. I think that'll be cool. And then, hold on. Let's get rid of this piece. Then I think, ew, you nasty. He's phlegm, just shooting out. Um, so let's do this. I'm going to put a stair here. Let's go upside down like that. Or regular, not upside down. Give me that. So then we can go down like so here, right? Then this can come down this direction as well, right? Like so. And then, you shut your mouth, you're so loud. I can't concentrate. And Bill, you people going blah, 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 snorting, slobbering all over the place. Oh, I swear, if he gets in my way, he won't get slapped. Uh, so something like this. So upside down stairs here. Let me get some dirt real fast. Get up to the tippy, tippy top. And then I can do, let's see. Let's do double stair. So stair, stair. Then upside down here. Parkour sauces, that's right. Then we go at another one here, another one here. 
and then slab everything else up and give you that cool little barn feel too still. So let's go bum, bum, then we go like this, then we go like this, then we meet up in the middle and close that off. Let me see what that looks like. So something like that. So if we do this, we definitely have to lift these up parkour. Uh, like that. Hmm, I like that. And then up here, we're gonna have to have a cross beamage somewhere. So what if we bring this down like so, and then maybe bring that up? Let's see. Hmm. I think that might be okay. I think it's better if we cross. Oh, put a put one of these in here. Oh, I gotta go up for that. Hold on, give me a second. Uh huh. I hear you. You loud. You so loud for real. I don't even know. Um. So <laughs> let's go right here. Think something like that. And then we got a big old window. Uh. And that should be good. Where's my show? I think that should be just fine. Let's take this out and take a quick little peek. That looks awesome. And that kind of goes off to the side. And then over here, we can make like a little bit of an arch, a small one, because this is for the animals that they can cross right under. I told you! Don't you dare spit on me! Don't you dare spit on me! I told you! I warned you! I warned you! Get out of here! You missing! I'm zigzagging like Neo in the Matrix! You can't do nothing! Look wrong! Oh, jeez. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, that's enough. That's enough. I, I warned you, this is my property, I will slap you. Have I ever been killed by a llama? Spit it? No. Will I ever? Maybe. But what is gonna be happening today? No. All right, check this out, this is what we got so far. And the war is over, we are good friends now, everything is just fine. And um, I, I wish I could find the leads though, I think I lost their lead. Uh, um, he dropped the lead, but it's fine. I didn't slap him again, no, it's fine. I might slap you though. Don't you get in my face! <laughs> but check this out. So we got this cool little curve now over here And I do want to hang some lights from these as well to make it look a little cooler Maybe even add some buttons or something on the ends of those so that'll be kind of cool uh, And then we got to prettify this area here, but also I love these beams coming out I made this little extension because yeah, we're gonna need a little more space for stores the, uh, One little tiny wall wasn't gonna do it So I went ahead and I popped this out the same pop out we had here But over here on this end and uh, the same curve also stair stair slab all the way on top so it's looking really, really cool. I gotta dress up and do some terraforming back here. Uh, but it's looking awesome. I think I might do our little trick that we love to do, uh, putting like little bits of slabbage around here. Like every other one gets a slab and then trap doors in between like that. I think that might make it look cooler. I don't think it, mm, this one look, it's gonna look a little weird though. Hmm. We'll see. If anything, we'll hold off on it. I have to make a brand new axe too, because our axe is gone. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we might not do it for here, because we do it so many times. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's make that clean. We'll see. But over here, everything's looking cool. So we got the little archway to get in, and we got all this space over here. I went ahead and put some cross beams here, and I think it looks perfect at that level, because it matches the level we have here. I still want to detail this top. I don't think I want to make a second floor. I like the tall roof on here, but I love the cross beam here too. So we might do something up top right there to dress that up but also we got to close these off too hmm not sure how to do it maybe we could do it with our oak so let's bring some more oak here uh and let's maybe lift these i want to cover this one up i want to cover this one up and these over here oh i messed that up that's fine i'll fix uh excuse me thank you uh so nice now they're so nice to me uh so maybe some of these could go let's maybe tear some of these off as well while we're here why not let's tear these two here and let's maybe tear that one off and go ahead and strip those strip those maybe these two that's cool and then we can come in here and let's make a little bit more right there and replace those there we go Boom and boom. So there we go. Some nice little texturing going on. Now for this one, I kind of like it that there's two and two because then we can go, go ahead and do our little archways on each right here on each side. We could do a couple arches like that. And then I'm not going to put any trapdoors underneath that, but what we could do is let's put some gates here so we can have uh, the animals come in and out from here and then they can go and then have fun either hang out in the inside part or they can go out here but to make it safe out here this is what we got to do uh let's bring in i'm gonna do fences on these here uh let's do fences also on these here oh i gotta dip that down where's my dirt uh we're gonna dip it down a little bit over here let's play around with this terrain we'll make it look nice later though so something like a so and then let's go ahead back and fix that here now just in case if i don't have to go all the way and we can just bring them in on this side we can bring in gates here as well so two and two and all of those and then so the animals don't leave uh we could just lab up uh this little area right here so slabs all the way around like so and i think 
spruce is the way to go. We could go with oak, but I think spruce will look a little bit better because we're using mostly spruce uh, for the trim. So we just come around here and seal this in. I'm not gonna have a llama, llama pen, so you, you free. You're free, stupid. Um, so <laughs> let's go all the way around again to seal this off and we are good to go right now. Boom, all done, looking awesome. Then I might come in here and add a little bit more detail, a little bit more life. Uh, I do wanna go ahead and do some kind of a storage back here. Not sure how to do it yet. Maybe just some barrels and chests up against the wall, maybe as an as a little U, a little curve here. You're gonna have to get out of here. This is my storage facility. Uh, and then I wanna detail the ceilings too. Not sure with what or how. Maybe with just some slabs of oak. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this real fast. So a little slabbage like this. Oh, I dropped you. Come, come. Thank you. Uh, so something simple. Uh, and we can start over here. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, hmm, how can we detail this up? Maybe just adding extra bits of slab right here just to round off these corner bits. I think will look pretty cool. Kind of round that off going around, I think, like that. That'll look cool. And then down here, we can maybe take these down and that kind of covers up the other side, right? I think by covering up the other side, we should be good to go. Maybe we can add those fences on that. Um, top part over here, like kind of what we did uh, in the um, in the mine downstairs, and maybe add a little bit of this to cover up that bit. Hmm, I think that'd be cool. Maybe come back this direction and cover up. Uh, hold on, uh, uh, slab. Thank you. Uh, and cover up this bit. Mm hmm. And then maybe, just maybe, let's come up to the top again. Let's use this. We can cross beat not there, but up here. We can cross beam this one, this one, and then this one. And then, are you drinking a potion? You loud. Uh, and then that should be cool. And then we can come back here and do our little archway effects that we love to do with some stairs going down like this and some stairs coming back the other way. Maybe trap doors underneath and on top. Like, uh, did I mess that up? I think I ran out anyways. Uh, we'll make some more. No, we got, we got a bunch. All right, so coming around like so, um, you messed up. Uh, but you guys get the picture. We can go ahead and do this all the way around, make it look cool, make it look nice, give you some more details here. And I think we're good to go. So give me a little bit. We're almost done with this thing I fell. And I'll bring some animals. Hi. Thanks for helping me. Oh, you were about to spit. Get out. Oh, baby, let's get this started. Look at all these babies we got coming down. I think there's more sheep up there. So for now, let's take care of these sweet boys and girls over here. Uh, so the cows are going to go in this one because I have a little bit more of um, of the coarse dirt in there. Sheep, please, not in here. Sheep, you got to go. You're not, it's not, it's not for you. Uh, make the baby. Don't crossbreed. It'll be a little weird. Um, <laughs> come in. Sheep, no. Sheep. Oh, I think I have the doors open. Um, okay, actually, let's make a break for it. Sheep, sheep, let's sneak. Sheep, 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 sheep. No, you're leaving. You're leaving. You're leaving. Come back in. Please, please, please. Hi, baby. Uh, okay, you get locked in. Sheep, okay, yes. Operation Sheep Transport. Come here, you stupid. No, you pay, pay attention to your, to, to your owner now. Come this way. No, 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 no. Okay, you come. You, just you, just you, not you. You, yes, you. You, 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 come. No, 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 don't breathe, okay. Stop, get back, get back, thank you. Hi, sheep, oh yeah, 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 that's your spot. Very nice, you smart, you smart. Okay, I think there's another sheep over here. Oh, we're doing really good, okay. Oh man, you gotta see, did you see the details already? Okay, I'll show you in a second. Hold on, let's get one more sheep in here. I think there's some up here. Sheep, 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 sheep. Hello, sheep, sheep, sheep. Is that you call sheep? Sheep, sheep, sheep. I think there was more here, oh, come on, night time, for real. Oh no, um, I could have sworn I saw another one over here. Please, please, please. Pig, I don't have a home for you, I'm sorry, but only going, bye bye. Um, <laughs> I'll make a pig pen soon, I promise. Uh, oh, I need more of these beautiful uh, right here. Uh, okay, uh, no sheep, that's fine. Uh, let me make it daytime. <laughs> let me show you what we got inside. All right, here we go, the last of the sheep, let's do it. We're in and we're done and we're gonna do a breed job. Come, 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 right on in here. Oh, you doing great. Oh, so smart, so smart. Okay, make a, a baby, you and you. Oh, here we go. The circle of life. 
beautiful. Look how cute. Okay, now let me show you what we got inside. Uh, so right here, ready to go. Everything's looking lovely. Details on the ceiling. There's stuff everywhere. Watch this. Got the path block going over here. Some compost with some bush. The ceiling details are a perfectione. I kiss it. Okay, so nice. Uh, and over here, matching uh, this side perfectly. So, so lovely. And then over here, this is pretty simple. So we got a bunch of barrels uh, and a little crafting bench, a couple more composters with the bush looking very lovely and nice. So here we're going to put all of our stuff that we need. Um, so all the, the mutton, uh, the, the beef. Uh, and stuff, the leather. Okay, shush. We're gonna put that all up here. Uh, I don't have a spot to cook because, you know, it's kind of me. I don't want to cook them while they're, you know, family are watching. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of a, of a butcher shop or something very, very soon. But there it is. That's all there is to it. What do you guys think? I love it. Uh, I, I don't know. I think this came out really, really awesome. Let me know if you guys want a full blown tutorial on this one. It's a little different from the one we built before, but it's looking very, very cool. Also, I did a little bit of an overhang. If you notice, a little bit of a trapdoor overhang just to change it up a little bit. But I love it. This is really, really cool. Cool. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think I should build next. I think I might do some stuff with maybe some chickens, okay? And maybe keep the animal theme going. Maybe go back to the bees, automate those things. But you know what? I think we, we still got to do a little bit more. Maybe a sugarcane farm. We're going to need some books very, very soon to start enchanting. We need uh, so many different things to go. I got a, I got a list, but let me know what you guys want to see next. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have been amazing. And I'll check you out on the next episode which should be out very very soon bye bye yeah it's made with bits of real panther so you know it's good <laughs>